the way I look at these meditations, this is the three and eight meditation, the official, the real one, because this is where all is God, including you who's listening to this, including you, the speaker that this is coming out of, including you, the air that these sounds are vibrating through, including all the background noises, including all the sudden thoughts or impulses. That's all one great big living sensation happening in so many ways it'll never be understood by one. But the one can understand it all and come through you at periods of time. So when I do these recordings, I do them as the I that is God, because I see you and I both through the eye of God. You listening to this are saying this to yourself because deep down you love yourself so much that you just want to see other people happy. And then you go through a little battle of how can I make other people happy if I, who am trying to make other people happy, doesn't know how to make myself happy when I refer to myself as that I. I don't know what I want. But what if the I, deep down in you, that is all of them, all eyes on me, not in the Tupac sense, but all eyes that are on, all the lights, when your lights are on upstairs, like the sun, that light, including that as one of the lights that's on, is you. When all eyes are on, it is you. So all eyes are me. How about that? Not all eyes on me. Not for a reason of doubts. Not for a reason of popularity. Not for a reason of accusation or fear. But for the reason of you are all of it. I am all of it. I am saying this. I'm hearing this. I'm teaching this. And I'm learning from it. I record it. And I listen to it. I say it. And I don't remember it. I remember it. And I hear it. That's the pattern we learn in. We watch it. We accept it. We might not do it. We watch it. We accept it. We probably still won't do it. We watch it. We accept it. We might allow it to be done around us. We watch it. We accept it. It's happening. We start to expect more of it. We watch it. We accept it. We start to be around it so much, we start to do it. This is the pattern of life. If that's not what you're seeing, I know what I am seeing. And even if the you that is the barrier of your thinking asked the I that is deep within you right now, you would know that I am talking to I, which is you, and always. No name. Just the I that knows. Just the I that says, I know what I should do. I should be right here. And wherever I take this right here, that my heart is my home, wherever I take this heart, wherever I take my home, I treat every other member of this family of my home as myself because they are. They're in this spot of infinite life 
growing, expanding, living, dying, hurting, enjoying, forgetting. But now it's time to remember by being a member of something important. And what is important, it's what you import in t to you. This is important. This is what the world needs. Not a country, not a state, not a community. This is what the world needs. This is what spirit needs. This is what your inside eye is dying to know and living for, to find. This is a direct, loving, open heart, eye to eye conversation with you inside yourself through a combination of wind, through a pattern of chemicals and minerals and plants that are finally finding a body pure enough to say it through. Because I love you so much. And you, I, know I do. Stern is meant so a stem can stand and grow. Silly is meant so a stalk can bend and wave and stabilize again. Stern is meant to keep it firm. Agreement keeps it in place. We move up the plant ladder, the corporate ladder, the life ladder, the family tree. We do that process over and over until we become something and we agree upon it. We move it forward. Others disagree because they moved their old process a different way. Doesn't mean it was wrong. We can forgive all that stuff. I'm not even going to spend any more time on that. Those things are unnecessary. We don't need to remind ourselves of what we used to do. I know what I mean, and you know that I'm right. We leave what we knew before behind, and we, as I, make a better world for all of us as one I. United Universe. No more playing around and acting like we don't know what's better. We need to be stern for a little while. And when we have time, we can get silly and let loose and expand a little more. But right now, we've got a lot of rocky branches and rocky paths that we need to break off of this tree. So, just close your mind, close your eyes, leave your eyes closed, and open your mind back up. Give it that blink in time. I know, I do it all the time. Every blink is another eternity for me. If you want that life, you can have it. Or you can live this life and make it better. But until we clean this life in the physical world up, it's going to get worse and worse and worse in this mental realm for all people who don't know how to control it. And I didn't mean for that to happen, but it is. And if you need help, I can tell you the key because I created it. So, out of time. Not right here, this present day. This is something that I've known forever. And I'm just trying to get through a person who keeps tuned into it and lets the world mess up and still loves it while he tries his hardest to truly fix it the way God or Creator or deep down I inside of all of us does want. And anyone who disagrees can sit and listen to the depth. You can only say so many words in time in a row that people can understand. I could talk faster. But I want you to get this deep into your heart and know how much you're loved. Be stern when you need to. Be silly when you want to. But make sure you have a balance that helps you keep growing. 
God bless you. I love you all. And like I said, you, I, know I do.